Hey, I'm Ron Drodos from KeyboardImprov.com and welcome to day 15 of our 31 day Rock Piano for Beginners Workout Challenge. So halfway through today's session, we're halfway through the month, 31 days. And uh, it's a really exciting thing to do is to get fluent at something and then you're ready to delve into theory and bass lines and different styles and things like that. But if you do it before you're really fluent with the basics, it's so much harder. So this is it's both preparatory for future study going further, but at the same time, it's the real deal because it's the way everybody learns. Everybody who can really play has done a lot of this kind of jamming. So um, I'm gonna set my handy timer for 20 minutes. Today, we're working on the key of D, right? We're working on D. We learned the blue, uh, D blues scale, and we're going to learn the blues chord progression, the key of D. So let's just say the Roman numerals. That's an important thing, which um, takes a little bit of time for, um, uh, well, if, if you haven't worked with the sort of the functional harmony of the Roman numerals, like the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, it takes a little while to get used to, but it's really the way musicians think. So basically, uh, in the key of D, the D is the first note in the scale, so the D chord is the one chord. It's like a Roman numeral one they usually put under it. So. You don't really see this in sheet music, but you'll see it in, in theory books. So um, we play uh, a D major chord, D, F sharp, and A. And uh, the cool thing is that once you learn something in one key, you'll see it in the other keys. So for instance, we know the D chord already because it was the four chord in the key of A. Right? We have the A, the D, and the E chords. The D was the four chord. It's the fourth note in A, but the tonic here. So it's the one chord. And then if we go up the D scale, the fourth note, D, E, F sharp, G, the fourth note, or the four chord, is gonna be G. So if a song has the one chord and then goes to the four in the key of D, it's, it starts on D, goes to G, and then the five chord is gonna be A. So let's play all three of those, the one chord, D, the four chord is G, and the five chord is A. And in a major key, these are the three chords that are major chords. The others are going to be minor, or there's one that's diminished. And um, it's interesting, because the, the uh, sort of non-musical general listening public doesn't really hear about these, or even like a lot of classical musicians, or when you're first learning piano, you learn the notes, and you might learn some chords. But it's really good to get used to these one, four, and five because it teaches you the relationship between chords and between the sound. If you're moving from the one to the four, that motion is gonna sound the same in all the different keys. And there's an interesting thing once where the general public got a taste of this, um, if you knew what was going on. So when Bob Dylan, turned, I think it was 60 years old, they had a big all-star concert for him at Madison Square Garden, and it was televised. And I remember watching it on TV, and it was one of these things where all these musical stars had flown in from all over the world, and you know, they, they, they all did one or two songs each, and then Dylan came out at the end and did a few. But basically, there was an all-star band backing them, up, that backing them up, and I think Eric Clapton was on guitar, Jim Keltner on drums, I forget who else, but there was a lot of musicians up there. And they had a play for all these different groups. And you know who knows if they even got rehearsal. Somebody flies in saying, oh, I'm doing it in C. No, I'm going to do it in D or you know, however. And um, there must have been one song that they didn't rehearse too much. And I remember Bob Dylan's musical director, the guitarist, turned with his back to the audience so all the other musicians on stage could see him. And he basically spent the whole song just going like that. One, four, five, one, and holding up two. So if it was in D, they'd look and they'd say one. Okay, we're gonna play a D chord. Then he holds up a four. Okay, we're gonna play a, a G chord or whatever. It's really interesting to actually see that on TV because you don't really see the, the Roman numerals dealt with. There's, they're more behind the scenes, how musicians think. So remember our pattern is that we're gonna stay on the, for the 12 bar blues, that we're gonna stay on the one chord for four measures. So let's do that together and just play the D with the right hand. One, two, three, four. Three, four, again, two, three, four. Now we go to the four chord, the G. 
again. Back to the one chord. Now the A, the five, the four, the G, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. So first it can be a little tricky, like how many bars have I played of D? Did I get to all four or am I only on three? After a while you start feeling it in four bar phrases. And I remember it took me about uh, a few months to a year when I was in college to really get that. And then I could feel, oh, I know where, you don't have to think about it anymore. So we're gonna start that right now. We're just gonna repeat this with the idea that even when it gets simple to play, you start feeling it so that you know when they, when they move. So let's do that again. One, two, a one, two, three, four, D. Again, you can just hold it down or play it again. rock or blues really has full chords in the left hand. Um, sometimes when you're playing with a, with a group and the bass player is a bass line, you can do that. But even so, in this kind of rock and blues, you're playing octaves or hints of bass lines or sometimes even the full bass line. Um, but a lot of the, those, those things, those bass lines and patterns are based on chords. They might just be the outer notes of a chord, not the middle, or, or the pinky's almost always going to play the root. So what we're going to do is you just get used to playing these chords. You can play them anywhere you want. Or you can start on this D and then move down a G. So it's not too muddy or too... I don't know what I'm going to play. I might just play way down here. And so we're going to try to start improvising. Not try, we're going to do it. We're going to start improvising in the right hand while we play that in the left. But we're going to start simple by just playing a D in the right hand. So you can improvise with the D up here while you play these different chords in the left. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. So we're going to come down just for something different this time. We're going to go D to C. And you can play both those notes. 
Don't be afraid to repeat things. They sound really good. Like if you go, you do it again, then, then you can do that same four measures again. Then you can do something different. Yeah. Let's add the A now. So we have D, C, A. One, two, and one, two, three, four. Same thing going in the left hand while we play anything in the blue scale. And I'm just gonna repeat this in quarter notes with the, I'm gonna leave the third out and just play root and fifth. But you could just play the chords, or if you wanna do this with me, you can. One, two, a one, two, three, four.
All right. So let's do this with a little bit of different beat now. And you can just either just do the right hand, or if you want to just do the left, or the chords in the right hand, or anything you want to jam along with the blues. And I'm going to do more of a straight eighths feel, like. Um,
So we got a good handle on the 12 bar blues today in the key of D. So now you know it in the key of A and the key of D. And we're going to keep going through a few different keys, and then we're going to circle around and combine them all and just call out things and, and play them. So uh, yeah, good job. This is the way to go. Thanks for being here. There's a few links if you like to click. Uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, visit me at Keyboard Improv for some other free lessons to take you a little further in rock and blues. And also to another video that I think you may enjoy. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow.